the Merry Bridgemas Knitted Sweater. Order yours at realcivilengineer.com now. Hello, you fellow engineers, and welcome back to Engitopia. We're in City Skylines 2, and I'm building a <laughs> an engineer's paradise. This is what we made last time, the Spaghetti Junction. And honestly, I've just been playing my Patreon exclusive, The Realistic City, and it's, <laughs> it's quite refreshing to come back and like see the sights of Engitopia. And if you haven't seen this before, this is where the architects live, in a sea of trash overlooking all the pollution like they deserve. You know, over this way, we've got like, we've got Britishville. I guess sort of ironic, I called it Ville. But yeah, lots of cul-de-sacs, lots of spread out houses with gardens. You know, oh, and something I did want to add to Britishville, particularly as I live in Wales right now. And in Wales, they've just made every single road, like the national sort of speed limit in residential areas, 20 miles an hour. Uh, so I'm pretty sure oh, maybe it's not in here. Hang on a second. Ah, uh, it's over here in road services. We can we can add like trees and stuff on the sides of our road. Oh, that's cool. Now, as we add trees, you'll notice they are really small, but that's because in this game, you're like you're planting trees and uh, they need they need time to grow. It looks like we we do actually we lose parking spaces if we add them so that's that's fine because this is just a residential zone but also there are actually parking spaces we can unlock so maybe we want to do that for like maybe some of our like more built up areas perhaps we should have parking because like at the moment these roads they're pretty full of cars now parking areas will take up space that's the bad thing but you can get underground car parks and then you can get this massive automated thing which like stacks cars. Oh man, I want that. I want that. But you also remember, I'm also trying to save for the Grand Bridge because this is Engitopia. This is where engineering dreams are made. You know, and speaking of which, like after after having a little look at this, like I obviously I released this video, like I saw the thumbnail. I was like, oh, it doesn't look like a terrible place to live. So what I was thinking today, I might try and do a little bit of like a little bit of like hydro topography. Is that a thing? Basically, I want to change the land to uh, get rid of this water around here. I don't want water flowing around Architect Island. So what I'm thinking, I've just selected like that level. And then I think I'll split this river in half. So I'm basically doing like an island in the middle of the river. Now, I won't lie, this is quite risky because I don't really want to ruin like everything I had. I should probably start at the top actually because I think the water's flowing. Yeah, you can see it flowing from right to left. So if I like block this first like upstream. But yeah, what I'm hoping is the water will sort of drain out. So hopefully water here in the middle will start to like go down. Because you can see this, it actually slopes quite a lot. Like if you look at that, I did this completely flat, the ground. If you look at like this, this end, like how much height there is. If we go to like the, the lower end, look how much lower that is. So hopefully if we fast forward, water should start like lowering at this level. Oh yeah, but that was, okay, that was level's definitely dropping. Uh, and you might be wondering, well, Matt, what are you, what, why don't you want a moat around there? Because the architects will just escape if there's no moat. And yes, you are true. They will. That's why I am going to be engineering a brand new moat around Architect Island. However, we're going to be using this liquid poop because at the moment, like we're we're polluting some of our city. We don't want pollution here. Originally, that was there because that was the edge of the map. I didn't own this. Now I do own all of this land. So I need to move this to somewhere. And I figured the best, the best place to do it would be around Architect Island. So once this does start emptying fully, uh, we'll move our sewage in here and then just block it up and then it can just fill up there. If it floods the architects and they all drown, two birds, one stone, innit? All right, anyway, what else is going on? I cannot connect to the internet. I'm losing my mind. Thomas Whitaker, we got to help him. So I do have in here telecom. I can get radio mast. They cost 13 grand. I mean, I got a million quid. I probably should do that. This is meant to be like the nicest place to live ever. So we'll try and get one of these in somewhere. Trouble is, I don't really want to annoy anyone. So I think rather than having it on like one of my main roads, there probably should be like a little lane coming off somewhere. I feel like up in this corner could be all right. So if I shove one there, I can literally just do like a little a little dirt track like that. And then this mast, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's right next to building, so it's probably not actually doing a lot, but it can be upgraded for eight grand to get an increased bandwidth and then four grand to actually get wireless so yeah we'll do we'll do that so boosh and then boosh so that's now fully upgraded and you can see the area it covers it's pretty large so that side of the city is fine we just got to do something over this side we don't want the architects to get internet late so again i reckon shove it up here 
sort of by by the highway yeah like that we'll upgrade this one as well boost that has pleased everyone they've now they can now go to the toilet when they're meant to be working and just sit on their phones get paid to poo that's what it's all about okay nice that should make people happy and yeah look demand is increasing so i've got to i got to keep building you can see up here i got space for another road i think so oh and i have a boom town i just got 1.4 million okay we'll close that let's just shove this road in paint that with a bit of commercial and yeah this whole area i was planning to making it industrial i always i always say commercial rather than industrial i don't know what is that what is that oh no there's old ruins here in the middle of our industrial area <laughs> Look at that. That Ooh. skyline looks pretty horrendous. Not gonna lie. But oh, I can I can move this? Doesn't that like completely defeat the object of a ruin? Just moving it somewhere? I feel like that will really annoy people. And if I delete it, like I'll get even more on it. Maybe I should call it something else. What if it was called like something like that? Then society won't mind me deleting it. Boosh. Right. It's done. Let's get a factory up in its place. All right, next up, there's low density. And there is, there's medium density as well. Now, I want to try and move my medium density sort of down to this. Oh, hang on, what's going on there? Why is, oh no. I was going to say, why is my road underwater? I think it's because we're trying to get the same amount of water down a river that we've made narrower. Because remember, we, we got rid of all of this. So that entire width has now been narrowed. And if it's the same volume of water, uh, it's got to go somewhere. In this case, up. So I think what I need to do, I need to grab like that level and then just cut like a deep trench in and hopefully water levels will drop all right okay so now we've got a much deeper volume yeah and i actually did quite a bit of like river sort of engineering like trying to prevent flooding and stuff anyway hopefully that will settle otherwise we may just have to move this road and have like a new coastline a little bit higher oh look we got high density demand we never have high density residential demand oh i need to add that in i also need to flatten this as well i'm just looking like look how lumpy it is and since terraforming is free i think we better we better flatten this and make it nice and easy oh, here we go look i'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to bring the level up. I mean, I assume <laughs> there's no more water getting in. I assume there's evaporation. Otherwise, this water just might not go. I'll tell you what, actually. Let's just bin off this road. Sorry, person. Oh, did you see that? I was going to say, sorry, person who's just driving. They just drove like into the abyss there. But yeah, if we just delete this flooded road. Oh my goodness. No, what have I done to that car? Oh, <laughs> It just ended up on the bridge. Fair enough. But yeah, we can then just take this around the outside. And yeah, ideally, I want to try and get a key down the entire length, which uh, is easier said than done in this game. It's very finicky. So turning off snap, it's a lot easier. Okay, so that's cool. Actually, is that cool? Look how lumpy it is. <laughs> I think there'd be some kids thrown up if they drove down that road. But yeah, I can't I can't do a key. The, it's, it's killing me. It just says the road's flooded the whole time. It's a key. It's meant to you stupid game right okay that will that will have to do we've got a bank we haven't got a key uh, but it's no longer flooding which is good and over here this is definitely drying up like that almost has no water on it now so i just want to take advantage of all this demand whilst i'm here so i think we'll come off i mean that's quite a close junction generally you don't want junctions too close to each other but i mean this is this is only engitopia i probably shouldn't overthink it all right so if we if we put some low rent housing down now these are going to be quite big i reckon just shove one there that should probably do all that demand you can see it drop in in an instant i'm then quite keen for the the mixed so we've got medium apartments but then we got the shops beneath and something i want to play about with as well is in in the money tab in the tax i sort of wanted to reward people for going to school so if i if i actually increase tax for the the uneducated let's say you gotta pay 20 percent tax if you're not gonna learn you're gonna have to pay more tax and then the well educated pay less the highly educated they don't pay income tax and then hopefully this will push people towards like the highly educated end oh, hang on hang on what have i done what have i done <laughs> not enough customers okay we may may need to look into that oh by the way look it's autumn which means this construction project is getting behind i need to focus over here we've done the demand there's only low density residential remaining don't care about that what we've got to do let's get the level terrain tool and i think this is how you get rid of water when you don't want it you literally just turn it into ground so if i just 
do that sort of thing. And you'll see all the water's gone. But you might just be saying, well, as soon as you as soon as you dig down, that water's just gonna come back, Matt. Well, 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 my fellow engineers. Actually, no, it's not. So if we do that, you can see completely no water in there. It is dry. We can then punch a hole with the shift terrain tool, and look, it is dry. So we snap that level, dig our moat back in, and you'll notice there is water in here, but as soon as I let go of click, it disappears. Right, so now we have a completely dry moat around Architect Island. I can then just soften this terrain a bit. Lovely. And then we're good to move this. So I think what I want to do, sewage outlet. I think shove it under the bridge. And I've added a second one as well because our sewage treatment was really low. But now it's good. Right, so now we are filling up the moat and the architects will no longer be able to escape just by going for a little swim. Lovely. Right, next up, I sort of want to look at, there is like a new zoning thing I've unlocked, the specialized industry. Now, I could set up one like over here. We've got like a massive wood here. And basically, this will allow us to produce wood. Because if we go into our production tab, look, we're using 49 tons of wood a month, which obviously we're paying for. And at the moment, we're minus seven grand an hour. So if we can slowly add more things like this, then uh, that means we'll, we'll have less money going out. So we've just got to fill the entire area. I'm going to do this as large as possible, but I need to leave a little strip so we can get a road to this. So off this highway, we have a little dirt road. I mean, it's got a very dodgy bend. Right, okay, so that is the area done. Oh, unfortunately, not enough water, electricity, and there's a backed up sewer. Oh, that is not ideal. Okay, I may need to, I may need to pollute some more. So another sewage outlet down here. Don't tell anyone. It's right at the edge of the map. No one can see it. Take a pipe up to here. All right, looks like wind down this end is actually okay. So I might shove a wind turbine up there. And with these pylons, apparently if I drop that, yeah, I can put them underground. All right, we are underground. We have power. We have water. And we now have a lumber yard. So I'm going to change the name of this business to, yeah, that makes sense. And then look, we're making four tons of wood every single month. So we're just like 40 tons short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Why, is, why are there no employees? We need three uneducated people. Oh, I've, have I forced everyone to be educated? That is the trouble with making Engetopia. Everyone is educated. Oh, I need to delete this as well. We don't want you anymore. Boosh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look, everyone's complaining about lack of labor. Is that because you need... There's no uneducated people. Everyone's educated. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? I need to make an area of uneducated people. How do I do that? Okay. Road around the outside. Man, who'd have thought taxing people would make them like go to school <laughs> Still, we got loads of building plots now, which means shove low density houses around this edge. And yes, they will get flooded with poo at some point. But remember, these are going to be uneducated people, so they won't realize they're going to get flooded with poo. Not until it's too late anyway. Okay, nice. I may actually legitimately have to change my taxes as well. Like uneducated people, they're taxed 20% and there's hardly any of them. Let's go back down to 10. All right, anyway, that's that disaster solved. Where to next? All right, so what? Whilst that's going on, let's have a look at what other industries we have because this will help get our costs down because our costs, we're still spending eight grand an hour. So I think it'd be cool to do like a bit of mining, a bit of stone or a bit of coal. So if we have a look when we click on these, yeah, can you see we've got like blue blobs about? So I think that's where natural ore is, meaning we can pilfer the natural landscape. Um, do I want to do that right next to the river though? Probably not. So I might go take this like up in the mountains up here. So if we just have a look at where this is, it's up there. So I can afford to buy tiles. So let's buy those two for 27 grand. And then presumably I need to actually connect to a road, which means buying like a strip down to there. Oh no, we're going to need another highway layout. But yeah, to get those tiles, 105 grand purchase. That's fine. And then up here, let's wang this in. So this will be our coal mine. And what I might do, I might shove like coal mine on say this side and then stone mine, shove that on this side. Like they can compete with each other. All right. So with these build, oh, there's quite a lot going on in here. Look at all this stuff. But oh, I can see the road is actually at the back. That's slightly annoying. It's just... <laughs> It's the same for this one. They're both, the roads are both facing uphill. I'll tell you what, actually. Let's relocate and then just rotate over that way. What I might do, if I bring these like close together, they can share a road. So we'll shove you there. Oh, this one, this one I can't relocate. 
fine. I'll just delete it and build a new one. How random. But yeah, what I was thinking is shoving it right over this way. I mean, I do want to make the most of it. So we'll do that. Then we'll just grab... Do I just want gravel roads up to these? Probably. They're nice and cheap, aren't they? So gravel road from up here. I think this is literally just going to go straight. I mean, if I was somewhat realistic, I'd try and follow the contours. Oh, yes. Turn the contours on, Matt. Boosh. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's follow this little channel down here. I mean, this road might get quite steep, actually. Yeah, channel goes goes over that way. I don't own that land, so... <laughs> So we're just going to stick right to the edge and then head down here. Going to connect those together like that. All right, and then with these buildings, you can you can make the area way bigger. So I want to take advantage of this. So basically drag this like right to the edge. I add more nodes if I need them. I go right up to the edge of like all my roads and then right up to the edge of like the land I own and this curve because we can't we can't go beyond that. That's like the area. Right. So we'll just quickly fill this in. All right. So that is the coal mine or the coal field, I guess we should call it. Oh no, it needs resources. It needs resources. Right. Pause. Oh my god. Oh, look what's spawned back here. Look at the size of this thing. Okay. So that's going to be doing the mining. I'm glad I put this like well out the way of my city. Uh, oh, now I'm interested to see what this one's going to do. So we can do the same with this stone mine. So basically just grab these nodes pull them right to the edge. Do exactly what we did before. All right, and then... Oh, look, another one spawned. But yeah, we got to get these some resources. So how... Oh, man, how am I actually going to do that? I probably need to... I need to buy another tile down here. Could I just connect? I don't think I can connect. I think it's probably too far. I'm going to buy that tile purchase. But yeah, basically, I need to delete this road. So out the way road. All right, and then I want to build a new highway intersection and what i'm thinking i sort of want to go i just want to build out bridges so if i like make this taller i can just put like bridges across okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a bridge across like that so the highway can go underneath uh this is oh this is two-way nice okay so then i can do one from like this side i probably want to go a bit higher actually so we'll go up one step which is 10 meters realize it was too low oh, it's still too low blooming out yeah that can go up there and then can can I get another one on top? Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can I get another one on top of that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Then another one on top of that. Oh, man, I'm just stacking bridge on top of bridge on top of bridge. All right, so then I just need to connect these up. So we start from the one down here. We do simple curves. We say, sorry, mate, you got to go. You got to go quite high. You got to end up up and around over this way. Man, and the actual, the steepness is actually quite accurate in this. Like, I'm struggling to, like, do a road that's not too steep. That would be 31% gradient. Generally on roads, particularly, like, fast highways like this, you don't really go into like double digits maybe maybe like like 12 percent or something i think was the highest i mean it's been a while since i've done any like sort of highway design oh no can i not oh don't say i can't actually build roads that high i think the height limit for bridges is like way taller than the height limit for roads so can i not even i don't think i can connect these like if i try and do a road off the top one oh, hang on it does it does sort of let me i just have to go really far away and i mean roads are so cheap in this game the main cost will be just purchasing land i reckon it's worth it. I reckon it's worth it. <laughs> I guess I'll start from the top. So I won't be able to go from up here. I won't be able to go down to the next level at all. But I can go down to like minimum level. So over to there. Oh wait, can I not? It says overlapping objects. I can do I can do that side, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring every level down to like the 50 meter level that I can actually work with. So give me give me a few minutes. All right, annoyingly, this one last one, I keep guessing the overlapping problem. So maybe if I make it a normal bridge, no, I think I'm going to have to try and redo that one. Trouble is, it's really, really tricky to fit in like a single bridge. I can go over that way. Yeah, let's go over that way. Okay, nice. So I can bring that over like this way sorted. So that's nearly there. I've just got to connect all these roads together. So remember, we want to do this fairly realistically. So make sure that angle there is 180 degrees. So there's not a horrible kink. Then we just connect all these roads up together. It doesn't really matter what one connects to what, as long as they're connected. They're so cheap. Okay, that's all my bridges done. I just realized I don't actually, I didn't need these highways disconnected after all. So I better connect these back up. But if I have 
parallel mode on. Oh, it does it does both roads at the same time. That's so cool. So yeah, we can. Oh, now we can thread the needle easily. Boosh. Oh, parallel highways. Oh yes. Oh, and there's our there's our bridge. Um, so this is all connected to each other. It's not connected to my road yet. So I need a slip road. So I think I wanna I wanna come off this road. Oh, turn off the parallel. And because these are these are one way, this is two way. I think we want our slip road coming over like up here, say. Then it's gonna lead to a roundabout. So we'll shove that in. And then we can have our two lane highway coming off and then just connect down to there. Nice. nice. And we have an arm that comes off here and connects back in there. And then I think I just do the same on the opposite side. So, all right, sorted. Then we just need a way to go from these roads onto our gravel road. So gravel road at the ready. We just got to work out where to put the junction. So we're on that bridge and the low bridge. So that's all connected. Now, some clever folk might be saying, well, Matt, why didn't you from this junction just connect like from that roundabout up to there rather than doing all of this stuff? Uh, I say, shut up. This is Engitopia. We play by my rules here because I'm an engineer. Anyway, before we press play, though, I do just need to connect some power lines up. They got to take a bit of a detour now. And I think I'm going to need a transformer station down here and oh I can connect these underground can't I so high voltage over to that so now we have power on this road we've just gotta just gotta get water and sewage so water flowing left to right so we put the the water intake upstream I mean the sewage should really go to architect island if I'm honest I have a feeling though it's too f oh you know actually I can't put sewage in here because that will flow downstream that will pollute everything like this has yeah I can't do that I cannot do that. Got to be careful, Matt. This is serious stuff. Okay, let's just see. If I buy an extra tile, let's just buy that one. Could I just grab the, the double pipe? Could I go from here up to here? Oh, yes, I can. That's where the warnings. Oh, I thought there was like a quite a short limit on how far you could do stuff. Oh, fair enough. All right, water intake. We, uh, we don't actually need you. Boosh. Okay, so now these should be up and running. Oh, yes, look, they're grinding. They're grinding. So this one's getting rock. The one over there is getting coal. Oh, look, there's like huge excavators. What's happened to your cat tracks, mate? They're... <laughs> They're a little bit white, aren't they? What's happened there? Oh, look, there's a huge dozer as well. Look at that. Moving some overburden, no doubt. Nice. All right, well, as the poop moat fills up around Architect Island, I think that's probably a good, a good place to stop. So I'm going to say peace, love, and bridges. Oh, yes. Right, see you later, guys. Bye.